Hi, my name is Vincent Leroux. I am the executive chef at Jumeirah Bali. Can you tell us how you first got into the culinary industry? Yes, it's always been my passion. Um, I remember when I'm uh, in childhood time, um, I stay in my grandma, uh, grandma kitchen and, uh, you know, to finish my workout and uh, to finish the working paper and some stuff from the school. And as well, I smell what she do. And one time she said, okay, you can do the recipe. I have at least six years old. And uh, she gave me some mustard, olive oil, vinegar. She said, well, this is the French dressing, you need to do it. And I start to mix it, whisk it, and uh, she gave me as well the alphabetic books, and I start to write uh, this, this uh, kind of recipe. And I was, uh, I was very uh, happy about that. And, and I start to feel very nice in the kitchen. And I think it's this time I, I start to, to think about, I want, would like to become a, a professional. You lived for quite a while in Hong Kong, what made you decide to move to Bali? First of all, I'm moving from Jumeirah Bali because it's Jumeirah as well. So Jumeirah is a luxurious, exquisite brand, you know. So this is a good opportunity for, for me and, and for my, my career as well. And after that, I fall in love in Bali for a few years ago when I go to the, when I go to have a trip there, I'm, I really like it. And we have a just small trip for three, day, three days to see one of my friends. And I said, well, I would like to come back as soon as possible in Bali. Uh, so, you know, now Jumeirah gave me the good opportunity to, to come back in Bali, so I, I, take, I took it uh, quickly and, and now I'm there. In terms of culinary offerings, how would you define Jumeirah Bali and what can we expect in the near future? Uh, I think it's, uh, what we do there is sustainability, um, uh, organic of course, um, we develop our, our own garden, uh, work directly with the farmer, uh, the small producer, uh, we focus as well on the Balinese product and uh, it's very important, you know, for the culture as well and, and develop uh, for the ecosystem as well. We, we, we really regarding that. Uh, on the culinary part, we have uh, the restaurant uh, focus on the seafood because we are the view directly in the uh, seafront. And after that, we have as well the flame grill restaurant, a casa, so focus more about the, the nice meat selection and uh, directly grill on the, on the firewood. Your career has taken you around the world. Is it difficult to adapt to new surroundings every time? I just need to have a few months for adapting uh, myself, you know, to understand uh, body language, the culture. Uh, the culture is very important. But when I when I think about that and when I find uh, the good key and, and I go through to the, some people to know and explain to me the culture, so I think it's go 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 fast to integrate yourself in different countries, especially in Bali. Uh, because Bali is very specific uh, and uh, we really need to understand uh, the different uh, uh, religion and different uh, uh, vision about the people there. So it's very exciting and, and very... Uh, you know, culture culture is, is the most important and here in Bali we have a very strong culture. What is the biggest challenge you've come across in your career and how did you overcome it? Yes, I have a bigger challenge like you, I think you understand, it's English. <laughs> so when I opened the school in Hong Kong, I opened the school like uh, to, to, to deserve the, the diploma and to give the diploma and to teach some Hong Kongese uh, to have the French knowledge. Uh, my, most, uh, my most concern was the English, of course, so I learned very fast. And uh, this is the most challenge when you travel around the world. So. You need to learn English when you are at school and not after that. So it's very important. This is really important. What about the most memorable or rewarding moment in your career? I think it's there when, when I am teacher, when I opened the, the, the school in Hong Kong uh, for the Escoffier, it's, it's, to get the, it's to give the opportunity for the, 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 the young people to become a chef, you know. So it's the sharing knowledge for me. It's the, more reward we can have on the life. So you give your passion to someone and you saw them grow up, grow up and, and now become a chef. 
Uh, so you are very proud of that, yeah. Can you introduce Escoffier to those who are not familiar with it yet? Escoffier is a French chef association around the world. Uh, Escoffier, Auguste Escoffier was the, the um, I would say, the king of the chef and the chef of the king. So this is why now all the French chefs they, they would like to be part of the Escoffier. So it's like an organization, chef organization. So it's, it's good, you can share the knowledge. It's, it's, it's basically it's for sharing knowledge and as well, you know, you have the community of chefs, so if you want anything, so for example, when I arrive in Bali, they contact me straight away, Vincent, if you need anything, you can help, we can help, so no problem. So it's really, very uh, a sharing, sharing, sharing um, uh, organization, yeah. What advice would you give someone who would like to get into the culinary industry? Uh, passion, passion, discipline, passion, discipline, and um, every time you need to, really need to be aware open uh, on the we have some you know some people they give us uh, the feedback sometimes it's good sometimes it's not good you need just to absorb that and grow up uh, sometimes you said ah the guest he said it's too salty it's it's fine you need just to 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 go ahead and 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 take the take the power of what we they give you actually it's quite difficult on our, our, our world because everybody can judge everything uh, professional or non-professional, so it's quite difficult as well, and, and um, you can be uh, destabilized for that. And, but you need to go up. If it's your passion, you need to continue, and, and you you'll be aware, 100%.